Want to boost your FPS and lower your ping in Roblox? In this video, I'm going to show you the latest FPS unlocker and block strap fast flag settings for 2025. These tweaks will give you a smoother gameplay experience with higher FPS and reduced lag. So let's jump right in and optimize your Roblox performance. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Disable Power Throttling in Windows In this step, I'm going to show you how to turn off power throttling in Windows, which is especially useful for low-end PCs. Power throttling can slow down your system, so disabling it can improve performance. First, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. In the box, type GPDIT SC and press Enter to open the Local Group Policy Editor. Next, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, and scroll down until you find a folder called Power Management. Click on it and inside locate the option Power Throttling Settings. Open it and double-click on Turn Off Power Throttling. A new window will open here, select Enable to completely turn off power throttling. This method works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Once enabled, click. Apply then OK and close the window. Step 2. Use Roblox FPS Unlocker and JSON file. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you how to boost FPS in Roblox using an FPS Unlocker and a JSON file. First, open the Roblox FPS Boost Pack and go to the Roblox FPS Unlocker folder. Inside, you'll find a file with code. Select all the text and copy it. Now you need to create a JSON file. To do this, create a new text document and name it ClientAppSettings.json. Use this exact name. Open the newly created file and paste the copied code inside. If you look at the first line of the code, you will see the target value. If you have a high-performance PC, you can increase this value slightly, otherwise leave it as it is. Once you have made any adjustments, save the file. Now, go to the Windows search bar type Roblox and open the file location. This is not the actual installation folder, so repeat this step until you reach the correct installation directory. Once inside, create a new folder and name it Client Settings. Then move the Client App Settings file into this folder. If Roblox is currently running close and restart it for the changes to take effect. Step 3. Optimize performance with Blockstrap. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you how to use Blockstrap to achieve smoother performance. Start by opening the Blockstrap folder and downloading Blockstrap.exe by clicking on the file. I won't go through the entire installation process, but simply open the file and follow the installation steps. Once Blockstrap is installed, go to Fast Flags and open the Fast Flags editor. Normally, you can set the frame rate limit to 9999, which removes any FPS cap. However, for the best performance, we will use optimized Fast Flags settings. Now go back to the FPS Boost Pack and locate a file called Best Block Strap Fast Flag Settings. Open it and copy all the settings. Then in the Fast Flags editor, click Add New and paste the copied settings. A warning message might appear, but these settings are safe and optimized. If you see an error message, it's likely because you already have settings in place. If this happens, simply override the existing settings by clicking Yes, then click Save to apply the changes. Step 4. Improve CPU performance with Throttle Stop. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you how to improve your CPU performance using Throttle Stop. Start by opening the Tools folder and then go to the Throttle Stop folder. Run the ThrottleStop.exe application. Once it opens, you will see different power plans such as Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. To get the best gaming performance, select the Game Power Plan and check the High Performance box. Among all the power plans, High Performance is the best option for gaming. Next, locate the section labeled Clock Mode Set Multiplier and Speed Shift Settings. You do not need to change any values here, just click Disable Turbo. Then click the Turn On button and press Save. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background so that it continues to optimize your system whenever you turn on your PC. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. 
Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Optimize GPU performance with MSI Utility. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you how to optimize your GPU performance using the MSI Utility. This tool helps improve how your graphics card, GPU, communicates with your computer. First, open the MSI Utility file on your computer. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator to give it the necessary permissions to make hardware changes. When the program opens, you will see a list of connected hardware devices. Locate your GPU graphics card from the list and check the box next to MSI mode to enable it. After enabling MSI mode, find the Interrupt Priority setting and change it to High. This change helps your GPU get priority access to system resources reducing lag and improving performance. After making these adjustments, save the settings and exit the MSI utility. These changes will make your gaming experience smoother by reducing latency, increasing frame rates, and lowering input lag. Step 6. Reduce keyboard input delay with filter keys, setter. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, I'm going to show you how to reduce keyboard input delay using a tool called Filter Keys Setter. Start by opening the Filter Keys Setter program. Once inside, adjust the settings as follows. Ignore under should be set to 0 ms, repeat delay should be set to 130 ms, and repeat rate should be set to 10 ms. After entering these values, make sure to tick the checkbox on the right-hand side of the program. Then click OK to save your changes. These settings will make your keyboard respond faster, which is especially useful for gaming or any task that requires quick inputs. Step 7. Optimize Windows Game Mode for better performance. In this final step, I'm going to show you how to optimize your Windows Game Mode settings. Start by searching for Game Mode in your Windows settings and turning it on. This setting improves gaming performance by reducing background tasks and prioritizing your system's resources for your game. Next, go to Graphics Settings in Windows and click Browse. Locate the folder where Roblox is installed and add it to the list. Once added, select Roblox, then change its graphics performance option to Performance. Finally, click Save to apply the changes. This ensures that your graphics card, GPU, prioritizes Roblox for the best gaming performance. By following all these steps, you will optimize your PC for better speed graphics and gaming performance, making your system run smoother and faster.